soul said yes, said yes, said yes, my soul said yes, oh yes, to God's will. Hello, beautiful Facebook family, YouTube family. Instagram family, wherever you will be listening to this and seeing this. Hi, my name is Nina Mulia Palapa, and I just have a message to encourage a lot of you, especially my fellow Christians. I just want to encourage you that we have entered a season of blessing. It's a season of blessing because God is really blessing us, the Christian. God is speaking and God is encouraging us to come out of our hiding places. Now is the time that the world is awaiting the manifestation of you, Ade. Yes, you, Ayodele. God is waiting for you. It is the manifestation of you. Now the whole world awaits for us. Now, some of us have been operating under radar with our gifting and our calling because sometimes it's good that way. We have to be under, we have to be practicing, and we have to be training. When the Holy Spirit trains you, it is always very important to be under, be at the back. But when the Holy Spirit say now, 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 you don't ask, but God, I don't know. There's no, no just go, step out in faith and go and then because what you're carrying and what you've been mandated to do has nothing to do with you but everything to do with he who has called you you see this is the challenge we have these days we have so many people wanting to move forward into the ministry or the calling but then they tell themselves oh i don't think i can speak english well enough or i don't think i can write oh well i'm not educated enough oh i can't stand in front of people and speak you forgetting the very person that has called you this is not about you what you are able to do this is about what he is able to do through you he just needs a vessel to say yes he just needs you to say my soul say yes said yes i say yeah my soul say yes Oh yes, to your will. God just wants you to say yes. And then he will do the rest. So, I want to encourage you in this season that we have entered in. For me, it's the season of Matthew 6.6. 6. Just go through the scriptures, read Matthew 6.6. 6. That's the very season where I am right now. It's a season where I have spiritually and physically, you know, created a very back private place where I spend time with God and God speaks to me the mysteries and things to come and so on and so forth. So whatever it is God wants you to do, be obedient of his spirit, yield unto him and then you will see that every other thing that concerns you it will no longer be a factor in your life. It will no longer be an issue in your life. So I'm encouraging many of you who's hearing me today. Yes, you have been behind for so long. You have been on this path of serving for so long. And the Lord is saying, now is the time. Now is the time. Tell yourself, now is the time where you must manifest that which he have been training you all this while. After you've been trained, you have to step out in faith. Remember, it is not by what you do. It is all his. When you are weak, at your very weakest points, that's when God is made to be magnified. Okay? So if you think that you are not able, the ability of serving God has nothing to do with the physicality of what we can do. The ability to serve God has everything to do with God himself. Because he's a spirit. Our part is basically to just focus and meditate on his word daily, daily, daily. It becomes our daily bread. The more you meditate in the word of God, the more you are rubbing head with God, the more it is easier for God to manifest through you. We are no longer in a season of quoting scriptures, but we are in the season of the manifestation of God. 
everywhere we step we take territory everywhere we move god is there when we speak god speak when we think god is thinking every step that we take it is god taking the step and that is the mindset that one needs to have in this season everything that we do it is god doing so my question to you is how much of god what do you have inside of you because the world will squeeze you or they will try it is written that in the world we will have tribulation but in god <laughs> We have peace and joy. It is very hard to understand a person that could be going through the worst challenge in their life, but they are not shaken. But if anything, they understand, you know, challenges when they come, it is the opportunity to manifest the God that's inside of us. It is the opportunity to bring God out and show the world. I am made of steel because my God is God alone. He's the only God. There is no other God apart from this God. There isn't any. And there will never be any. So there is nothing that can come to me. That can remove me from the love of God. That can cause me to slip away. No. I am not perfect. But my perfection has already been made through believing in what Christ has done for me. So my perfection is not because I don't smoke, I don't drink, or I don't do half of the things that many people do. But it's because I believe in Christ. And that is the perfection that God sees when he sees me. So be encouraged and stand up tall and march onto your weak and manifest God. Let God speak through you. Let God just who's out of you. This is no longer the moment of this speaking like most religious people do. It's not the moment to be quoting scriptures. This is the moment to show God inside of you. My question is, do you carry God? Do you understand? We are carrying the whole of the creation. You know, I have one of my minister friends that say, we are carrying the whole deity, which means the whole Godhead inside of us. That is not something small. And that definitely is not something to reckon with. So have this mindset in you. That God lives in you. Inside of you. And only you can bring him out. So a born again Christian is not a person that keeps the mouth shut. A born again Christian should be a person that speaks. Because when you are speaking, it is God who is speaking. God bless you guys. And I hope some of you had an amazing Sunday. And then step onto your week with boldness. With the assurance that God has given us. That even if we are going through the deepest, deepest, deepest of waters. God's presence is always with us. Carry his presence everywhere you go. Surely, surely and surely you are definitely going to come out on top. That I can guarantee you. Have a blessed Sunday. Until we speak again, enjoy. Bye.